Okay, everyone, welcome to the next lesson. Moving right along, we're going to look at the best e-commerce platform now that you can start your business. Okay, once you have your business model figured out, the next logical step uh, is what e-commerce platform to use. And again, this is uh, this is for newer people because people who are experienced, you know the e-commerce platforms and you probably already know what you want to do. But I wanted to create this module to really highlight what's out there right now in the marketplace and what I believe is the, the best e-commerce platform for anybody to get started regardless of the business model that you choose. Okay. So there's definitely many e-commerce platforms out there. All right. Uh, Shopify. Big Commerce, WooCommerce, Magento are definitely uh, considered probably the top four, right? These are the biggest players in the e-commerce world. They all have good platforms. They all have solutions that are a little bit different, right, in, in what they offer and, and how they do what they do. But uh, they're, they're all big platforms, okay? Shopify definitely has a lion's share of the market right now. Um, but uh, Big Commerce and WooCommerce Magento uh, also have their own, you know, people who are are loyal followers to what they do. Uh, WooCommerce is the WordPress platform, so a lot of times people who come from a WordPress background are like, you know, they they want to go with WooCommerce because they understand WordPress. Other ones that are also out there: Illusion, 3D Cart, Wix has their own e-commerce platform. Big Cartel, Press the Shop, there's a bunch of them, right? Uh, but not all are created equally. That's the most important thing to remember as a person, uh, no matter what level you're at, whether you have experience, whether you have your own existing retail s small business already, or whether you're brand new, you need a platform that is going to, to be the easiest to use, right? That's going to be the most user-friendly, that's going to have a, a balance of... Uh, affordable you know monthly payments uh, versus the f whatever fees that you have to pay and payment processors and you know all these types of things that uh, also go in the choosing a platform so for me uh, I have experience working in e-commerce now for a few years and I've I've used a few platforms and I have a lot of experience working with a lot of other people. So I believe that there is a clear winner out there as the best e-commerce platform from what I've seen, and that is Shopify. All right, and Shopify is definitely the, like I said, they have the lion's share of the market right now. And I think that is very obviously because they have really differentiated themselves as the, the go-to platform for e-commerce, no matter what type of e-commerce business that you're trying to build. Now, why Shopify? I'm going to actually give you some reasons. I'm not just going to base this off of uh, my own theory, okay? It has a really easy uh, user interface. One thing that is so important, right? You can't us underestimate that. An, an interface that has, can be a make or break a platform, right? It has to be simple to navigate, simple to use and understand and set up. So one of the reasons I love Shopify because it's just easy like you don't have to be experienced you don't have to know technical background and coding and things like that those things help but you don't have to know them or understand them to become a shopify pro like with with zero experience because they've set up a very easy to understand user interface multiple plans to choose from okay there's a free trial uh which with ecom empires i have a special free trial link for you uh, included in this free training um, it's definitely with this video if you haven't seen it already there will be one under this video and then after the free trial is only $29 a month and then there's multiple tiers up from there we'll look at them in a little bit later so there's there's plans no matter what level you're at in your business all right and $29 a month to operate a store that can be making thousands of dollars a month is extremely reasonable uh, there's also uh, depending on the payment processor you use, okay, and, and we'll talk about that, Shopify offers a direct integration for uh, many of the, you know, like U.S., Canada, U.K., some European countries. Um, I'll talk about this, but then there's a fee that you pay based on your transactions, but that's any payment processor, right? So that is another thing you have to consider is what payment processor you want to use. Um, but, but generally using the one built into Shopify is the best way to get started, uh, unless it's not available in your country. 
one of the things that really differentiates Shopify, I think, is there's hundreds of apps to turbocharge your store. Uh, actually, there's thousands of apps. There's over 2,000 apps that on the Shopify app marketplace. And basically, these apps are just different things that you can install to your store that are going to give you so much more functionality and, and customization to be able to uh, really create a unique experience, increase conversions, sell better, basically, uh, and sell more on your store. And I don't think that there's another app marketplace that really competes. Um, simple setup, great hosting and load times. Now, the, the, you know, this, like the people who are super experts out there, uh, you understand that Shopify is a shared hosting platform, meaning all the stores that are using Shopify are all shared within the same uh, Shopify server. So there's a slight disadvantage to that uh, in the sense that you're not controlling your own server but in my opinion you don't, you don't need to you don't need to worry about it there are massive massive brands that are running uh on shopify like tesla like you know radio shack like there are uh gymshark there, there's there are massive brand kylie cosmetics that are, that are getting tons and tons of traffic and they are running just fine on the shopify shared server uh, but it is important to note that if you wanted to go the route of using your own hosting then you shopify doesn't let you do that okay Fantastic support. Uh, I, don't, I think that Shopify's support is hands down. I'm like, I haven't compared to any other app or software that I've used. Like, they're always there, easy to chat, easy to connect, easy to get an answer. Even if it's an answer you don't like, you know, you're you're always going to get an answer. You're always going to be able to find somebody. And they even include an hour of free tech support. Uh, for any brand new store, like an hour of not even tech support. Tech support is always free, but there's an hour of design customization for free that you can get from Shopify. They have Shopify gurus that will help, you know, set up your store. And so the support is really, really great. Communities and training as well. This is a big, big difference, right? Because whatever you want to learn to do, you have to have support. You have to have a community. You don't have to, but it makes it a lot better makes it a lot more uh it makes it a lot better of a journey for you a lot more inclusive if you do shopify has an amazing blog they have case studies they have fantastic training like honestly really really impressive stuff um and there's also a lot of communities out there like mine that are built around people using the shopify platform so you get a lot of direct feedback and interaction and training from other people that are able to share their successes and their failures and what works for them and tips and advice that you can uh take direct action and apply because you're using the same exact platform right and again, it works for all business models smoothly, no matter if you're drop shipping, print on demand, selling your own products, digital products, subscription products, like you can integrate any business model into the Shopify platform. Uh, a few things that I want to highlight as we go through, all right, Shopify has uh, free professional e-commerce themes. Now, that's not to say that other platforms don't, but I think that Shopify really has some uh, fantastic out of the box plug and play themes. One of them that I like a lot, uh, is this one here. It's called the venture theme. I think it's really good for, um, getting started, having a very professional, clean, nice looking theme. Okay. And that's the advantage, right? You want your store to look professional and with a Shopify store setting up and using one of their free themes, these themes don't even cost money. You can literally have a store that was just created a week ago that looks like a well-established, well-branded, uh, very professional store. And so that's a major advantage to you to be able to use these free themes. They also have paid themes that you can use as well. So if you want to get a little bit more, um, a little bit more customization, right? Place is something that I already mentioned, but I'm going to highlight it here because again, it's, it's so, it's such an advantage, right? Now, these apps aren't all free. There are some free apps and there are paid apps, okay? But there's something for everything in here. You can see their categories from finding products, different channels. You can directly link with Shopify like Pinterest and uh, Amazon and Etsy. Uh, apps for your store, apps to help your marketing, 
apps to help boost sales and conversions, order shit, like all of these apps, right? You can see them all. And that, that's a huge advantage, okay? Because you want to be able to customize and create your brand and your store however you want. Now, I'm going to recommend when we get to the apps, because it can be a little overwhelming. There's so much out there. And not all apps are great, right? Now, they all have their own review system, so you can see which ones are better than others. But again, the, this is this is so, so valuable because this is basically shortcutting your process to being able to build a world-class super powerful turbocharged store right it's like the difference of of owning uh, a Hyundai or owning a Ferrari okay and nothing against anybody that owns a Hyundai that was that was my first car actually but uh, there's there's obviously a huge difference in the performance of those two types of machines it's the same thing with your store right you want a store that's that's calibrated at the maximum level of performance that it can be and with over 2500 apps in the Shopify store that and uh, there's just like you're going to have that high performing machine okay now let's talk about some of the specifics these are things that you should consider and you should look at when you're looking at an e-commerce platform shopping cart all right this is this is huge okay this is where people actually check out okay this is where they input their credit card to be able to make a payment and the the shopping cart uh on shopify i want to just i want to highlight some of these benefits because i think it's one of the things that really helps them stand stand out as well uh, for a long time, I took it for granted how smooth their shopping cart process is, but it's, it's actually not as simple as they make it seem. All right, so definitely they have the free SSL certificate. Some, some platforms don't even have that included. Shopify includes this for free, a uh, free, and they can do that because it's, uh, shared hosting, right? If it was not shared hosting and you have to get your own hosting, you're gonna have to get your own certificate, okay? And, and that's something that's an extra level of, of an extra layer of what you need to do. Okay, they can integrate with a hundred different payment gateways. Now, uh, a lot of payment gateways comes down to what's available in your part of the world. Okay, like I said, you know, for the the countries like the U.S., Canada, United States, uh, Germany, Japan, Singapore, France, I believe, Australia, maybe not Australia. Um, I can't. I'm not sure about Australia, but they all offer Shopify payments, which is Shopify's integrated solution that works directly with Stripe and allows you to just very easily set up and, and start processing payments. Other countries in the world, there's still over 100 external payment gateways that you can uh, integrate with. Some are better than others, you know, and that's going to come down to what you choose. But no matter what, there should be an option uh, for you to integrate. You can offer free shipping. You can offer multiple tiers of shipping, actually, which is nice. You can have uh, shipping, like you could say, orders over $75 free come with free shipping or you know order three items and you get free shipping so you can completely customize and control how the shipping process works um, which is really advantageous multiple languages uh, the online checkout store as you see comes in 50 plus languages and you can translate your store there's multiple apps to translate languages and uh, so there's a lot of functionality there depending on who you're selling to where in the world or if you're selling all around the world uh, automatic shipping rates. So if you want to integrate, like say you're a small business owner or you are selling your own product and you're going to be packaging and shipping your own product, then you're going to want to be able to integrate with one of the major carriers. So they have that automatic integration, UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL that you can do. Abandoned checkout recovery. Uh, this is a cool feature, but I actually I have a better recommendation of what you should use when it comes to abandoned carts. So we'll talk about that in the future. Uh, if you don't know what that is yet, because you're brand new, don't worry. You'll you'll know by the end of this training. Uh, flexible shipping rates, like I mentioned already, and automatic taxes. So again, that's nice. You don't have to worry about it. You can you can set your tax rules. Okay, and I'm not I'm not a tax attorney, so I'm not even going to get into that. But uh, Shopify lets you handle that kind of stuff based on your country uh, and state if your if your uh, country has states store management okay so being able to actually manage everything from customers to your accounts to fulfillment centers like there's there's so much flexibility in here uh, I'm not going to go through every single point but I just want you to see that 
one of the other reasons I really like Shopify is just the management of what you can do. Okay, it's very easy to process refunds if you need to process. You can do this all right from your smartphone, um, which again, their smartphone app is actually really, really good. So you can actually, once your store is set up, you can run it right from your phone. Um, you can integrate basically. So like with drop shipping and print on demand, you can integrate your third party fulfillment uh, solution, like the solutions I'm going to offer you when, when we get to that point, you can integrate them directly into your store. So as soon as an order is placed, that order is routed to your uh, supplier, and then your supplier is able to fulfill that order, and then update the order in your store with a tracking number. This is all happening automatically behind the scenes. So again, that's not something to just take for granted. Not, some some platforms don't do that, so that's uh, that's really powerful. And again, depending on the type of business you have, like if you have some type of, uh, I, I consulted once with a, uh, they sold like what, it's what kind of. I don't know what exactly the classification classification to call, it, but they sold like um, rock rocks is what I guess is what a, you know they sold rocks basically for like uh, you know landscaping and uh, outdoor kind of landscaping stuff for you know and they were a wholesale company that had a couple locations and they needed to create a inventory management where customers could create an account and put their orders in a month ahead so like shopify can do all of that for you it, it can go that in depth so you may not need all of that functionality but it's there if you do have that type of business this is an important one uh the marketing and seo so both let's talk about both number one let's talk about seo now i i will say this the the best pretty much the undisputed best platform for seo is wordpress okay uh i don't think anybody's going to dispute me on that but shopify is really really good okay they they have a really well built search engine optimization just already customized right within the platform and that comes down to some technical stuff about how they allow you to set your page up and can you customize your title tags and your meta tags and all of that do they generate a site map with your products and your blog posts and and yes they do and there are even apps that help you take it a step further if you really want to optimize and you really want to turbocharge your seo so this is definitely important for people that might be getting into a specific niche because you know that that can really help in the long term seo is a long-term game but that can help in the long term with being able to bring organic traffic into your store uh, to, to make sales on the marketing side you're able to do some really great things like uh, discounts you can create multiple different types of discounts gift cards uh, integrate directly with all the major social platforms and you know like we're going to talk about social media selling in the future uh, and then also shopify has its own review function built in as well um, so lots of power in the marketing and seo side and then when it comes to your products again you you have basically complete control of how you want to set up a product all right. When you import a product or you, you set up your own product, uh, you can track inventory if you want to. There's multiple variations you can do. Uh, each variation you can break down by price, different weight, different SKU, however you want to do that. You can organize products by categories. Um, multiple things here, as you can see. You can even sell digital products. Uh, and again, what's nice, there's an unlimited products. There's no uh, limit to the amount of products. And within that, even cooler, not only is there, like, so there's no limit to the amount of products, and all of those products could have multiple variants and multiple different, you know, prices and, and lots of different images. So, like, your store can be really, really powerful and robust, and you don't have to worry about the hosting. You don't have to worry about crashing or load times or, like, that kind of stuff, um, because like it's just all integrated so smoothly on Shopify's existing platform and server. Which brings us to the web hosting. Uh, like we mentioned, so there's unlimited bandwidth, all right? That means you can have unlimited amount of visitors. Even if you're on the most basic plan, you can have as many visitors as you want. Now, you would probably want to upgrade to a higher plan because there's reasons that that makes sense, but it's just nice to know that they don't limit you on that. 
Uh, you can create automatic email forwarding and then all this other stuff that's basically just, you know, level one PCI compliant, you know, that's for credit cards. As you can see, they give you the SSL certificate. Uh, you get instant upgrades into your store always for life, no matter what plan you're on. And while they do, they have had situations in the past where, uh, there's been downtime on the store, meaning like something might have gone wrong or the server might have went down. Uh, it's always up quickly, 24 seven monitoring. You can even monitor it yourself. There's a, I think, Shopify.com backslash status or something like that, where you can actually see how their server is performing worldwide at any given time. Uh, so they're very transparent about it. And uh, while it's not perfect record, you know, there have been times that there have been snags or issues. It's it's definitely, like they say, 99.98% of the time it, it's working and running and you don't even need to worry about it. Analytics, another important part of having a store, right? So uh, being able to have dashboard analytics, I, I really like this because you can see your traffic. One of the things that they do really well is they show you your, like when you, you have a dashboard in there, and we'll look at this later when we get into the store setup, but you can see your dashboard and you can see your conversion rates across your store. And so you can really monitor the progress from a a simple level. Obviously, you can get more in depth with analytics with Google Analytics and super metrics and things that you can install to really like break it down to the nitty gritty, which you might want to do when you when you get to a, a higher level of traffic ad spend and selling. But at the most basic level, it's still actually pretty advanced with you know what you can track and, and what you can see. You can generate reports to see what's selling, where it's selling, when it's selling. Like you can see all of this stuff uh, right within your Shopify dashboard. How many visitors, how many returning customers, what is my purchase conversion rate, all these types of things. What is my top selling product? What is the landing page people are visiting most? Okay, so that's really important that that's all built in and you're able to see that. And then finally, I mentioned the mobile app already that you can do all of this right from your app. You can fulfill orders. You can see everything on your dashboard. You can manage your inventory, even connect with your customers. So, and it's all synced right back and forth. Okay. Uh, 24 hour support. Uh, this is nice to have no matter what time of day it is, no matter what day of the week. They're always available by email, live chat. Or by phone right so there's multiple ways they have a great help center they have a great e-commerce university with multiple uh trainings and blogs and case studies and additional things that you can look up to uh increase your knowledge and learn about different topics and basically become uh you know an expert in your own store just through the amount of training and information that they have within there uh, which of course is then supported by courses like mine as well and communities like mine and then so finally here looking at the the pricing tiers of Shopify uh this is the basic price and then here's your transaction fees right so as you go up in in uh in plan your transaction fee drops down which definitely makes sense right like if you're doing say when you're starting out this is obviously where everybody starts out but when you get to say uh say you're doing fifty thousand dollars a month in sales that 0.5 percent is is going to make up for the difference right so it makes sense for being here uh this is definitely a nice middle ground to be at because this this includes the one main thing that this includes it's not included here is this includes full reporting functions you get the basic stuff here and you get the dashboard at any level but here you can like really generate in-depth reports about your products that sold um you know and and customer data and all kinds of things so uh, and again your your transaction rate drops 0.3 percent which can make a big difference when you start to get into you know the higher volumes of sales right now here's the free trial link for you to be able to start you can go to shopify.com backslash ecom empires and i will have uh, I will update this video with whatever the current trial offer is. It changes. Shopify changes this automatically sometimes. But I am, uh, I'm, I'm definitely one of the top partners with Shopify. So, uh, I would like to say that no matter when you're watching this video, 
hopefully you should be able to get the best trial offer with Ecom Empires, all right? Sometimes that's a 14-day trial, and sometimes it's something more than that, but I will have it updated here, and I don't want to say specifically because when I record this video to when you watch it, it could change, uh, but you'll be able to see whatever it is under there. But no matter what, I appreciate you signing up with the Ecom Empires trial, um, you know, for help support the free education that I'm creating here right now. Okay, so it's Shopify.com backslash ecom empires. And last thing then, what about Amazon? Okay, Amazon is obviously a platform as well, but it's different. Amazon is its own marketplace, and we're not going to be talking about selling on Amazon in Ecom Empires Academy. Uh, I have plans in the future to include a module about selling on Amazon because Shopify and Amazon are not, like they don't work against each other. It's important to understand that. When you're selling on Shopify, you're creating your own store and your own asset to be able to run traffic and sell products through social media. When you're selling on Amazon, you're taking advantage of the Amazon marketplace, right? Amazon is a place where people come and they search for the product they want. Okay, so it, it makes sense to use both if you build a brand. Uh, for example, say you sell beard oil, right? And you start off on Shopify selling your beard oil and running traffic and running traffic and making money and making money. Well, eventually it's, it's going to make sense for you to put your beard oil brand on Amazon too, because a lot of people go to Amazon and search beard oil, right? And even people that might come to your store might also go to Amazon and search for you there. So you can, you can integrate the channels and Amazon is its own platform that you can sell on separate from Shopify, but they do not conflict. I actually highly recommend recommend uh, that at some point in the future if you are building a brand that you look to expand into Amazon and putting your products on Amazon and putting your brand on Amazon as a seller there because there's a lot of advantages there you're reaching an entirely new marketplace of people that you may not even be reaching with your store so I just wanted to mention that quickly but definitely now you can see why Shopify is the platform that I recommend. I know this video was a little long, uh, and some of you, you know, may have gotten what you needed in, in the very beginning, but I felt like it was my due diligence to go through and give you exactly why I feel like Shopify is the best e-commerce platform for setting up your business um, at, at any level, whether you're a small business owner, whether you're a brand new person starting with drop shipping or anywhere in between, right? And I, I hope that I gave you a really in-depth look because it is really important, right? And and you shouldn't just take it for granted. So that's why I wanted to cover all of those details uh, and, and hopefully by now have convinced you to that Shopify is where you should be so you can sign up with that free trial now or in the future when you're ready to build your store. And in the next lesson, I will see you there and we will continue uh, talking about some of the last pieces of, of getting this foundational uh, e-commerce training done.